Engaging celebrity interviews. Exciting updates from Christian filmmakers. Movie reviews so you can choose your movies wisely. And so much more here on Faith on Film with Isaac Hernandez and Holly McClure. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Faith on Film. Uh, so glad you joined us for today's episode. Uh, aren't we, Holly? We are so glad. <laughs> and, and we're talking about something exciting. It's a new movie coming out. And I mean, everyone wants to see new faith-filled movies mm -hmm. um, appropriately. And it's, it's, a t it's a movie, 47 Days with Jesus. Now, you guys have to spell out the 47. It's not the number. It's That's right. 47 spelled out. Days with Jesus. Because I looked up just 47 days. It is not that. It's not <laughs> that. It's and the so word. Couple, you can yeah. get it wrong. Right, right. You can get it wrong. <laughs> yeah. But the fun part is, I was like, when they were filming this, they were at Capernaum Studios filming, mm -hmm. filming the part where it goes back in history in the village. And I got a chance to go down there and take pictures with... Cassie and oh, Jonathan, cool. who play Mary and Jesus, and I got a chance to see the some of the numbers being done in the production, and yep. it, it was so much fun seeing that. It's a beautiful film, isn't it? It is. It really is. And you know what? Last week, I got a chance to, of course, interview Catherine Lidstone, who is one of the stars of the movie. She plays the the on the modern part, but today you're going to get to talk with Jesus. That's right, and <laughs> Mary and. and Mary. We'll give you a little clue, too, and I'm, they're going to say this in the interview. It's the first time that a mother and son have played Mary and Jesus in a movie. A and mother I think and son. So important and so cool because yeah. it's a distinction that we have with this movie that no other movie has. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's take a look at the trailer here real quick, and then we're going to come back with you talking with, okay, he's not Jesus. He plays one on TV. <laughs> here we go. Papa just started telling us this amazing story. The people were singing and dancing. Oh yeah? Dad, what are you telling them this time? The story of the last 47 days of Jesus' life on Earth. Oh, you say the meeting is on Saturday? That's the day before Easter. Yeah, so? I gotta spend time with my family. Don't you realize this is for your family? Where's Joseph? Oh, he's on a work call. This late? You're making the same mistakes that I made. It's painful to watch. I have to make a choice for my family. I want my partner back. I want my family to be whole. If you ever feel stuck or lost, God is still at work in our lives. I have faith things will be okay. It's life, Joseph. You might miss it if you don't open your eyes. That looks like a great trailer and something very unusual and different, right? Have you folks seen a movie like that? Not really. Well, I am proud to have with us the star, in my opinion, of the show, Jesus <laughs> in the flesh. We've got Jonathan Byram. Jonathan, hello. Welcome. Hi, Holly. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. So happy to have you and excited to have you on the show. Mm -hmm. And honestly, um, this is something that's kind of in your forte, but more so than people think. Because you are a singer, aren't you? Music is your background. But how Music you, is my background, that's right. How, tell how you got involved with this project and why that m merged together with the role you're playing right now. Well, I, yeah, most, I'm a trained singer, um, a musician, and I, I live in Los Angeles. And so, like, a normal part of my work is, like, singing song demos for composers and songwriters who are, who are, who are working on projects. And... Um, uh, a, a, a singer friend of mine named Darlene Coldenhoven, who produced all the vocals for this movie, um, got in touch with me to just sing some random song demo. And so I find out it's it's for this it's for like some musical about Jesus. And I'm like, okay, cool, that's great. Let's let's do it. So I sing one song. A few months later, she calls me again. Here we have another song for that musical project. Would you come in? They, they love your voice as Jesus. Like, come on back. We'll do another song. Say, say great. A few months later, same thing. Another song. Maybe like four or five songs. This is over the course of like many, many months. And then, um, you know, I do these song demos for other people and, and these projects like, you know, you never hear about what happens with them. So they usually don't get made. And all of a sudden, Darlene calls me again and goes, hey, they're making a movie out of this thing. Yeah. Are you interested in playing the role on camera as Jesus? And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, let's, I yes, got the hair, let's do it. <laughs> you got the hair, the beard, everything to go, so. 
<laughs> well, and, the, and then the, the hair was shorter at the time, but yeah, I had some facial hair, you know, and they were like, you, you can, are you willing to grow your hair out? It's like, yes, let's do it. So I let it go for months and months and months um, leading up to filming. And yeah, it's been kind of fun having the, having the locks. Um, so I've kept it. I, it's a good look on you. I, and Thank you. I've got, we've got to point out the fact that Jonathan Rumi, who plays Jesus in The Chosen. Yes, now, yes. Like, love him. Yes. Not like you guys look exactly alike, but I bet after this movie, you're going to start getting what he gets, which people coming up to him going, oh, Jesus. And, you know, that oh, it, it's kind of a funny thing to hear him talk about it, but I can see it happening, can't you? It could happen. It could happen. Um, you know, I in high school, um, I was um, president of the Christian club for a little while uh i also had long hair in high school because i wanted to be a rock star and a hippie in high school um so one of my nicknames in high school was in fact jesus um, <laughs> it was prophetic it's, it's come full circle um i'm embracing the role and and if that becomes a nickname again or whatever that's fine <laughs> Okay, if we go to a high school reunion, you're going to have to go, hey, guys, remember the name you gave me back? Well, it came to fruition. Uh, okay, I first want to set up before we talk about the movie. I've got a list here where you've done songs or music for things for Spider-Man in 2022, for um, Jurassic World, for Hairspray, for Hocus Pocus, Ellen DeGeneres Show. I mean, you've got a who's who's list of, you know, different projects, 14 that you've sung on are these like the theme song or you sung on them or what was that with all these shows yeah the majority of them i don't i don't remember the spider-man one but but the majority of them, like jurassic world and um yeah hairspray and high school musical and and um oh i think you're, you're thinking of um uh spider head that's a that's a more recent Spider -Head. Movie, Sorry, uh, Spider -Head. Yeah. composer named uh, joe trapanese um and so on most of those i was uh hired to be part of the choir that was singing um, on the score, like throughout the whole movie. Uh, okay. So I got to sing that epic John Williams theme song for Jurassic World oh. and then also the, uh, the Home Alone remake. Um, yes, yeah, so I've gotten to sing some really cool music, uh, but it's usually in a group setting on those big movies, you know, where they hire a big choir to, to give you an epic sound. Yeah. Um, and then occasionally I'll get some solo things. I got to do a couple commercials last year. Um, this one commercial for uh, Honda, they hired me to sing like like um, like a crooner, um, you know, hey, buy a Honda kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I, so that's that's like the kind of work that I'm used to. And it's usually off camera. Um, and only occasionally does the singing work, you know, lead to like the story I just told you about Darlene bringing me in and then it turns into an acting role. Only occasionally has that happened. And it's, and it's been on some, some stage things here in LA. Uh, I got to do this like avant-garde opera project last year. Um, and again, it was because I can sing then, and then like the acting has been this part of my life that's like slowly been growing and evolving. And then particularly with this film, uh, it's been a, it was a huge opportunity to, to try to you know grow in that way. 47 Days with Jesus, and by the way, folks, it's the number 47, so it's not, it's 47, it's not the number 47, because... It's spelled out with letters. Yeah. Spelled out with letters. Right. Talk about, just briefly give me a synopsis of what it's about and what role you play in the movie. Sure. So it's uh, it's a it's a story about a modern day family, actually. Um, and this modern day family is having all kinds of trouble. Um, and... But there's this grandfather who throughout the story, throughout the movie, tells the story of Jesus to his grandchildren. Um, and this story that the grandfather is telling ends up having all these reverberations and, and lessons for the modern day family, for his son, for his relationship with his son, for his son's relationship with his family, with his wife and with his kids. Um, and But anytime the grandfather launches into this um, the story of Jesus, we get to cut to first century Palestine, um, uh, old Jerusalem musicalized version of the Jesus story. And that's where I get to come in and sing these amazing songs and interact with these awesome actors and do really fun things like ride a donkey and walk on water. <laughs> really fun things. And by the way, you filmed that at Capernaum Studios and I had a chance to see you there filming and it was so much fun to go on the set and to watch you and do some scenes. And uh, did you have a good time at Capernaum? Did you have a good time there? I had so much fun. Yes. And it was so fun hanging out with you and I, and, and 
I wish so much right now that we were doing this at uh, that barbecue place where we had a meal um, <laughs> in the town there. Um, that was so fun to hang out with you. And, um, and of course, yeah, really fun to walk around Capernaum Studios with you. And I had a, an amazing time there. And yeah, I got to ride a donkey down old Jerusalem, down that street. Um, I got to uh, get my hands dirty with some mud and, and, and heal a blind man. Um, and uh hang on a cross um it was it was amazing yeah and the, the, the setting was just incredible there uh that was that was a really special part of the part of the filming process was being there it really was it's it's an amazing studio um so you don't play the father in the present world you just play jesus in the flashbacks correct yeah okay right. And um, I'm just distinguishing because there's a guy that kind of looks a little bit like you that plays. Yeah, he's got the long hair, he's got the beard, and <laughs> yeah. so just distinguishing. And yeah, Yosh is incredible. He and he's he's uh, he was on the Chosen for for a good while, and um, and I got to meet him finally in person because because you know we didn't film together because they were doing all the modern day stuff um, separately, and then later we did all the all the um, all the flashback stuff, all the the musicalized you know Jesus story stuff. So I finally got to meet him at a at a cast hangout thing he's just the sweetest guy and and he was very kind and said nice things about about how i did jesus and all that so yeah okay. i know this is kind of kitschy but i you know is there a line you can sing or two or part of a song that you remember you know from the movie or is it or did you oh my gosh holly you're supposed to send me this stuff ahead of time <laughs> to give me a heads up about what we're doing here do you have any did you help write it or did, did you have a hand in writing it or did they just you know you just perform no no not at all yeah they, they gave me sheet music right now emilio palame who had a lot of uh did a lot of work on this film in terms of the writing the directing and the the um arranging and orchestration alongside with uh, with roland who, who wrote these songs um uh so i would receive them and then you know as singers do just sort of like kind of interpret as an actor and as a singer, you know, maybe some rhythmical things and, yeah. and just expressiveness. And, and I got feedback from Emilio while I was doing them. And, um, and one of the, one of the most beautiful ones is, um, uh, is the song that, that I sing while on the cross and I sing this song to my mother, to Mary. Wow. Yeah. It's, it was, it was really, yeah. One, one of the more poignant songs. And, and then, um, and the song is titled My Dear Mother, um, and it begins, My dear mother, do not gaze on me. There are others who will see what you ought not to see. You knew I was the one, God's one and only son. And it continues from there. And then... I want it, to go on and on. I'm like sitting here going, oh, I love this. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Thank God. you. No, that sounds so good. Well, speaking of your mother, which was Mary, of course, at the cross, there's something very different and unusual about this movie, and that is that your mother in real life is playing Mary. Kat in real life Kat is Kat playing Mary. Mary. Let's bring her on. We have her Good. with things. Let's bring her on. Cassie, are you there? Hi, Holly. Hi, this is amazing. Cassie. In in fairness, we caught you in the car, which is kind of not fair. So we had to kind of work out the technical difficulties. But yeah, we I but thank you for joining because this is so unusual. First of all, you don't look old enough to be Mother Mary or maybe the mother of, of Jonathan. So it's kind of <laughs> you know, you're an actress in your own right and I do singing. But this is unique for you and Jonathan because I believe I'm right. There's never been a mother and son pairing on a film screen in a movie who played Mary and Jesus, right? I, I believe you're right about that. So mother son playing mother and son. So it's it's really fascinating, especially in these two roles. I I I haven't done the research, but I I I don't know of any other film or, or show where that's been done that way. So, I don't either, and I've pretty much seen them all. <laughs> it's a, it's so I, it's such a privilege, and and was such a surprise when this happened. It was kind of mind blowing just being on the set with my own son and and having him play Jesus was an added level. So it was amazing. 
Okay, he just sang us a little bit of the song that Jesus sang to Mary on the cross. Were you boohooing the whole time that he was singing that down there in real, for real? Was I, Jonathan? <laughs> yes. I, I, it, it was hard for me to even give them those moments of holding back. Uh, but I was, I was so moved and so um, in it. Oh. You know, just, just it, it didn't take much to be in it. <clears throat> watching your own son on yes. the cross even oh. even you know even when you're play acting it's just still just the whole uh depth of that moment as god's only son i'm watching my son that it there was no way not to be not moved in a really extreme way I was really the whole time jonathan yeah basically i was yeah <laughs> Jonathan, how was it for you? I mean, you had to sing this song and look down on her. I mean, it was, and how unusual. First of all, how did, did you both come together as a package or Jonathan, did you bring your mother on? How'd that happen, Jonathan? Um, well, firstly, my mom is an incredible actor in her own right. And um, they are, they were so lucky to have her. And um, she has, uh, yeah, I think Darlene knew her to begin with anyway. And um, there was just, nobody would be more perfect for the role so um yeah i can't take any credit for anything she deserves all the credit mommy oh. deserves all the credit no not true we're gonna have like you, you guys got you guys got cast at the same time then so then you knew together going in you were playing mary and jesus yeah actually, yeah essentially yeah okay well, right, yeah. You know? actually jonathan led the way on this one they they cast him first and then, like Jonathan said, uh, I had worked with Darlene Koldenhoven before, and she was casting, and um, she recommended me uh, to them. Oh, yeah, that's right. Actually, I remember Darlene asked me, she said, Jonathan, do you think your mom would play would play Mary? Yeah, yeah. So I think they needed, like, they needed, like, access to you through me. Well, I'm, <laughs> I think she was asking your permission. Um, uh, do you mind if your mom is on set with you? Oh, got it. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Either yeah. way, we're, we're it, it, it was amazing. I it was something that I never thought of. I'd never dreamed of. I yes, you're right, Holly. I've had uh, an acting career for since I was 19 years old, but the thought of actually doing something with my son, uh, it just didn't occur to me. And then especially playing his mother. So this was really out of the blue, which is the way God does things. You know, it's just so amazing. Um, you know, um, both of you uh, doing this film and doing a musical, which is also very, very different from a scripted, you know, storyboard working from that story angle. Uh, what Was it hard to do a musical together and then these characters or was it, did it flow relatively easy for you? Jonathan, what about you? Well, yeah, for me, uh, it, it was honestly very comforting to have music to guide me through the filming process um being pretty new to acting um it gave me this like anchor where okay i know what to say i know when to say it and i can kind of live expressively in the music and then it was from there that um you know emilio and uh and david gattel uh the director on set um helped me kind of dig in deeper into the character um so for me it actually i i believe made it made it easier and then for certain scenes where i got to you know uh really lean more heavily on spoken dialogue i was just lucky to be opposite some very good actors cameron arnett um uh, in particular uh to you know to play off of uh and dig into the role that way so i, I found the musical aspect of it to be really really wonderful and actually made it made it easier cassie how about you yeah, um, I loved that there was music in the film. I really didn't do a whole lot of singing. I have a few lines, but it's mostly just on camera, mostly acting. So, um, so that but it's you. still wonderful uh, to be involved in something that has this caliber of music in it. It's so beautifully integrated into the story itself. And I was thrilled to hear Jonathan because, yeah, as you heard already, he's he's pretty great. Love that voice, yeah. I just, yeah. I just can't really wait to see. I um, the 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 story and the the present day part 
you know, I think a lot of families are going to relate to that. You know, the workaholic dad, the uh, belligerent teenage son. I would, I wanted to smack him a couple of times, but oh, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> when he turned out from the refrigerator and said, "I'm eating," and he has a chicken thing in his hand, I wanted to go, "Okay, <laughs> not okay at our house." <laughs> I laugh. But you know, and then the whole, and then the wife and the husband. So they're having struggles. They're, so let's just give a story back up. They're having some struggles. You did kind of jump in, but it, there's resolve at the end. Uh, and because you're tying in the faith with the grandfather's stories, but um, did, did the kids end up taking those stories or does the dad go through the journey too? I, I'm just, how are you connecting that? That's a good question. And to be honest with you, Holly, I actually haven't seen the whole movie yet. Okay. Cause it's, so I get to discover this uh, along with everybody else. I was just, I was completely in it, you know, with, with filming uh, the, the Jesus part of the story. Yeah. Um, and then I've gotten little snippets of, of this family story. Um, and one thing that the, in an interview, one of the, uh, the lead actress, Catherine, she, she said, it's, you know, it's this beautiful story that we need right now because it, it shows a, a family in crisis that, that, that pulls through, yes. that succeeds, um, uh, that doesn't fall apart. And, and that, I mean, I got, I got almost, I teared up the first time I heard, you know, her describe that part of the story and, and, Beautiful. I'm, I'm married, and I have two kids, and I know how hard family life is and can be, and so I, I, I'm just really proud to be part of the movie for that reason. And you live in L.A., both of you do, which to me, yeah. that, that raises the level of how hard it is to be an actor and to be in the business in California and L.A. I'm sorry, but it is. I've been there, and it's just it's a different world out there, you know? Yeah, it is, yeah. It, it is, and, and, and you have been a part of this out here, Holly, and you know, I mean, we, it was Valentine's Day yesterday and, and my husband and I had dinner with another couple and we were talking kind of sadly at one point about how many of our friends in the business are no longer together. And it's, and they didn't make it, they, it it's rough. It's really rough. Um, but what I love about this film is the fact that, yes, there's a lot of resolve and there's, there's a lot of hope at, at the end. Um, but it's not all wrapped up in a neat little bow, you know, it doesn't make it look like, okay, you do this, you do that, and then bada bing, bada boom, it's, uh, it's all fixed. It's, it's a journey, and the real message is you've got to hang in there, because really, God's love is never ending. It's steadfast, and he will come through for you, but we have to stay in it. We have to, that's the message, we have to stay in it. Mm, so shoot. I'm glad you said that. That's so important. Okay, when is this movie going to come out? You guys know, and because we, we did in Catherine, so we're going to be promoting it. I'm just letting you know. And are you going to be at any premieres? Is there a big special thing that's going to be happening for it? March 11th, 12th, and 14th are the yeah. days when it's in theaters around around the country. Um, and uh, yeah, me and some of the disciples are for sure going to go see it together. Uh, I think on the 11th, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. You and the disciples. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? Jesus and the disciples are going to go watch the movie. Yeah, we hang out. We hang out. <laughs> Peter, um, Joshua Triplett, uh, he hosted a, a, um, a, a Super, Bowl Super Bowl party the other day. So we all got to hang out. It's great. It reminds, yeah. me of, it reminds me of when I worked on The Passion and I was on set in Italy and I was standing there and the guy that played Peter, you know, is from Italy, he was Italian. And most of the cast were from different countries. So not everybody could speak the same language or hang out. And I said, hey, are there any of the cast members that you hang out with? And he was smoking a cigarette. He goes, well, John, Judas and I, we like to hang out. We like to go have, you know, dinner together and drinks and I wanted, of course it was Judas. John, Judas, and I, we like to go hang out, you know. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, the, that flashed in my mind when you said that. The disciples and I are going to go hang out. I had to laugh and go, yeah, that's just, uh, yeah, That's fun. funny. I'm sure you guys aren't smoking and it's a whole different world. But yeah. No, it doesn't seem like anyone's smoking, but this, I got to tell you, this cast is amazing. They are, they are young and on fire and uh, it, it was such a uh, privilege for me to to work with this young group including the director uh on set director and mm. it 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 was very encouraging about the future uh of film and faith it was really encouraging to be a part of this with with this with these amazingly talented uh on fire young people it was great 
much. Well, I've enjoyed having both of you on. I look forward to seeing it in theaters. We're going to be promoting it. And uh, I'm excited to see your careers, both of yours, take off. And, and Jonathan, stay in touch. If you have other movies you're singing on or part of, come back and let us know. I'd love to have you come back and sing something. <laughs> cool. Great. Talk let's do it. it. See you too. Thank you, Molly. And you're welcome. I love to see you too, Cassie. And let's keep up on your career. And God bless both of you for the most amazing performances and in a, a wonderful movie. And you have the honor of being the first Mary and Jesus, mother and son. And I think that's a neat, a neat thing to go to heaven with. <laughs> High five, Mom. Hi, my name is Jonathan Byram. I play Jesus in 47 Days with Jesus, and you are watching Faith on Film. Great interview, Holly. You know, one of the things that you talked about was how it was a musical, and I remember the marketing people saying, well, we don't want to market it as a musical, but hmm. Well, it, the thing is, the first half, it's not. It's, you know, real life mm -hmm. drama and, and dramatic situations. So I can see why they don't want to say the whole thing sure. is a musical. And then people are like, eh, I don't want to see it. But when they go back to the village, there are several musical numbers, and we just talked about it. So yes, there it's are. So it's kind of the musical. Um, Jonathan, who plays Jesus, you know, Isaac, he is in his own right. He's been doing movies and doing soundtracks and singing on big, big movies. If yeah. you know, I am doing him, folks, he's like, he's, this isn't his first film. And he's done amazing things with his music career. I mean, he did a little bit of it when we were uh, in the interview. And then Cassie, of course, is an actress, too. So it was just fun to, to talk to yeah. both of them and hear their energy. And again, being the only mother and son who played Mary and Jesus, pretty unique, you know, as far as that goes. But... Um, yeah. It's a beautiful film. We really encourage people to see it. And Cameron's in this, right? Cameron Arnett? Yes, yes, he's in it, but he didn't sing. He didn't sing. <laughs> I was but waiting said, for that. <laughs> Cameron is the Kevin Sorbo of Christian films. He's in everything. And I just had to mention, he's our friend and we love him, but he's in this movie yeah. too. So there's actually a lot of stars that are in this movie. I think people are going to enjoy. And again, it's a different take on people's perception of religion and stories the grandfather that introduces this to the younger generation so mm -hmm. i kind of like the whole fact that had that grandfather you know passing down stories and and you know christianity to his grandchildren and picking right. it up with a family that unites the family so it's a good story folks it really yes, is it is and i think the reason that they were saying they didn't want to market it as a musical is because there's a lot of people that i guess don't like musicals i happen to love musicals but it's you're going to love it. Trust me. Even if you're not into musicals, you're going to love this one because it is absolutely fantastic. And again, it's only half it of it that's music. It is only half. And it's an unusual story, uniquely done and beautifully nice. told. So we really encourage it. Yes, absolutely. So remember 47 Days with Jesus. That's the word 47, not the number 47. All right. Um, yeah. So just look it up. And uh, it, it's uh, it's out on theaters uh, for, I think it's like three days as a Fathom event. But I know that after that, it'll be streaming. So you want to look it up and, and watch it wherever you can. Just watch it. All right. Well, Holly, we did Have it again. a great time. <laughs> Thanks. God bless everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now. Write to us at faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Faith on Film TV. Also, go to our YouTube channel, Faith on Film TV, and hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications on our latest Faith on Film shows.